This is a $100 million mega mansion. I'm Zet, and this is Mr. Beast, the man who conquered YouTube. In this video, we will dissect the influence and life of Mr. Beast. So stay tuned as we find out how he has conquered YouTube and if he really is a genius. Greetings, allies. Following our deep dive into the world of Alex Jones, we turn to another figure who is considered way less controversial and way more influential, Mr. Beast. Imagine starting as a teenager with a camera and transforming into a global icon. A journey from humble beginnings to reshaping the landscape of YouTube and philanthropy. With every video breaking the internet and every move sparking global conversations, Mr. Beast is not just a name, it's a digital revolution. Get ready, allies, as we explore the saga of Mr. Beast, the YouTube titan who turned the digital world upside down. Born in 1998 in Wichita, Kansas, Jimmy Donaldson, known to the world as Mr. Beast, had a humble beginning. As the son of Sue Donaldson, who served 21 years in the army, he was an introvert with passions ranging from Legos to baseball. At just 10 years old, Jimmy discovered YouTube, a platform that would soon become his world. By age 11, he started his own channel. And at 12, he realized YouTube could be more than a hobby. It could be a career. His nickname, Mr. Beast, or to be precise, Mr. Beast 6000, wasn't carefully chosen. It was a random generation from his Xbox, marking the start of something legendary. Um. I think is the biggest takeaway because like when i was 14 i thought my videos were the best in the world they weren't they're terrible many people are making way better videos than me mr beast's youtube journey began with gaming videos and commentary with gameplays in the background but soon he started incorporating talks about other youtubers and giving youtube advice one time with Colin and Samir, which like they averaged like a couple hundred thousand views a video, but that podcast got 12 million views because on average people listen to that podcast for 45 minutes because YouTube could see people were watching it for so long. Right. That, that's a great indicator that they loved it. At 15, life threw a curveball. Jimmy was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, an inflammatory bowel disease that causes chronic inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract. Therefore, he quit baseball, focusing solely on YouTube. But the road wasn't easy. At 13, after being mocked, he deleted all his videos, vowing to start fresh with better content. I was younger, it was just hell. Like, because I didn't relate to anyone. Yeah. I didn't watch South Park or any or movies or anything while everyone else did. Yeah. And like, people at the age of 15 just can't comprehend having drive and wanting to work. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you're yeah. just like this little outcast. <laughs> Starting from scratch, he used his brother's old laptop, gradually saving for better equipment. His dedication was unwavering. For years without YouTube partner program income, he persisted. As his gear improved, so did his content. Mr. B started creating real-life challenge videos with his friends, packed with humor and fun. Although insecurities loomed, Jimmy's resolve never wavered. His first 75,000 views netted him just $30 a month. I would act like I was going to college that whole time, but I, I wasn't. And I didn't have enough money to move out. And that was kind of when I was just like 15 hours a day, all in. I was like, I'm fucked if this doesn't work. <laughs> By high school's end, despite his passion, YouTube was barely a viable income source. Faced with an ultimatum from his mother, college or moving out, Jimmy chose a daring path. He secretly dropped out, focusing solely on YouTube. I graduated high school and my mom was like, either move out or go to a community college. And I didn't have enough money to move out, but I really just, I hated school with a passion. But she forced me to go to community college. And that was, that was the worst thing ever. Like that, that made me hate life. Like borderline suicidal. I just can't stand like having to just sit there and listen to this dumb stuff and listen to some teacher read out a book. A few months in, earning about $1,000 monthly, he confessed to his mother and moved out to chase his dream. This leap of faith marked a turning point. 
His unique videos like counting to 100,000 captivated audiences. His first major brand deal came with a twist. He convinced the sponsor to double the amount to $10,000, which he in turn gave away to a homeless person. This video went viral, defining his future content strategy. In my first brand deal, I'm sure you guys have heard the story, yeah. but for people that don't know, I, uh, I was offered five grand for a video. But this was when I was like 19, and it was so much money. It's like, Mom, look, look! And uh, I, I was like, double it, and I'll walk outside and I'll give it to a homeless person. And they're like, no, you won't. And I was like, double it. And I had like pacing around my neighborhood for three hours convincing this guy, like on the phone, just double the money, I promise the video will go viral. Mr. Beast finally found his niche, using video earnings to help others. His channel exploded in popularity as viewers loved this generous and heartwarming content. But Mr. Beast's empire isn't limited to one channel. He expanded his reach with multiple channels, each with a distinct theme and a massive following. For instance, there's Beast Philanthropy with 20 million subscribers, where he focuses exclusively on philanthropic efforts. Then Mr. Beast Gaming, a haven for gaming enthusiasts boasting over 41 million subs. Beast Reacts, with 31 million subs, offers a mix of intriguing reaction videos. And last but not least, there's Mr. Beast 2, catering to 36 million fans or subscribers. This channel features a variety of videos and shorts. I mean, yeah. like, it's, it sounds like you were just all day, every day. What do you have now, 90 million subscribers? Uh, well, we uh, across everything, we're closing in on 200 million subscribers. And so that's that's where most of my knowledge came from, is I just surround myself with these lunatics and just every day, like we didn't do any. But Mr. Beast's innovation doesn't stop there. He's transcended language barriers by dubbing his videos in Spanish, French, and many more languages. For this, he hired renowned voice actors, making his content accessible and enjoyable to a global audience. This global approach has not only expanded his reach, but also created a diverse international fan base. From a teenager with a dream to a YouTube mogul, Mr. Beast's journey is a testament where passion and hard work can lead. Stay tuned as we uncover more about this YouTube Titan's entrepreneurial efforts. And don't forget to leave a like if you've enjoyed this exploration so far. Beast recently turned down a $1 billion offer for his YouTube channel. He said maybe if it was a 10 or 20 billion, I would even consider it. Do you think that he made a bad call? From YouTube stardom to business mogul, Mr. Beast's entrepreneurial journey is as fascinating as his viral videos. There are many business ventures Jimmy has started. First of all, he mastered the art of merchandising, turning his brand into a wardrobe staple for millions. It's important to note that selling merchandise in general is actually considered a standard practice by influencers and YouTubers alike for obvious reasons. If anyone is interested, his merchandise is available at mr.beast.store. But Mr. Beast's entrepreneurial ventures don't stop here. Thousands of people crowded the American Dream Mall in East Rutherford for a restaurant opening. It seemed to be more about the owner though than the food. Take a look. YouTube star Mr. Beast, whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson, has more than 100 million subscribers, and now he's got a burger joint. On Twitter, Donaldson said more than 10,000 people lined up for the opening of Mr. Beast Burger. November 2020 marked a new venture, Mr. Beast Burger. It began in North Carolina with a giveaway event drawing a 20-mile line. His announcement video for 300 locations nationwide went number one on YouTube, revolutionizing the fast food industry with philanthropy at its core. Despite initial hiccups like service outages and sold out locations, Mr. Beast Burgers sold a million burgers in just three months. The brand saw both highs with the Dream Burger collaboration and lows with legal challenges, which will be discussed in a later part of this video. Expansion was rapid, from Canada to the UK and even Southeast Asia. But something notable is still missing. 
Our piece of those chocolate and cookies just launched in every single Walmart across America. And to celebrate, I'm gonna have Nolan do a taste test to show you guys how good they are. 2022 Feastables hit the market with Jim Murray, a former employee of PepsiCo and former president of RX Bar on board, they launched free chocolate flavors and unique sweepstakes. Donaldson's marketing genius shone through, making $10 million in a few months and expanding to the US, the UK and Australia. However, not all was sweet. The brand faced criticism for their fan engagement strategies, particularly the many giveaways which in turn boost sales. Wait, 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 stop scrolling. I just dropped a brand new app and you can win lots of money. And all you have to do is put your finger on the app like this. And the last person to take their finger off the app wins $25,000. Lastly, let's not forget Finger on the App, a groundbreaking game offering $25,000 for digital stamina, meaning the last person to lift their finger off the app wins $25,000. As you've just heard, Mr. Beast isn't just a YouTuber. He's a blueprint for digital age entrepreneurship, blending creativity with business acumen. As previously discussed, the theme of giving is prevalent in Jimmy's videos. Besides these videos where he, for example, gives away a car or pays someone's college tuition, there are numerous philanthropic efforts and charity ventures initiated by him. For instance, there's Beast Philanthropy, a non-profit born from Mr. Beast's vision, which focuses on combating starvation and food insecurity and highlights many more philanthropic topics. Launched in September 2020, it quickly became a mobile lifeline for communities with limited access to traditional food banks. Through engaging monthly videos, Mr. Beast and his team have distributed over 500,000 pounds of food by July 2021. Their ambitious goal of serving a million pounds of food was achieved by November 2021, averaging 80,000 meals a month. BeastPhilanthropy.org emerged as a platform for donations, fueling their mission to expand further and touch more lives. After planting all day, we only managed to plant 300 trees. Which is less than 20 million and my back hurts. I put out a tweet and I have tons of people coming here tomorrow to plant trees. I think I've got an idea for a drone. In 2019, Mr. Beast and Mark Rober launched Team Trees, a massive $20 million fundraiser for planting 20 million trees. A fan suggestion amid the Amazon wildfires actually sparked this global eco campaign. Here, the Arbor Day Foundation took on the monumental task of planting these trees across critical need areas, significantly impacting the environment by absorbing millions of tons of carbon. By December 2023, Team Trees had not only met, but exceeded its goal, raising over $24 million with immense support from global creators and social media platforms. Team Seas, the sequel to Team Trees, raised over $33 million for marine debris removal. Launched in 2021 with Mr. Beast and Mark Rober at the helm again, this initiative united the global community for a cleaner ocean. With every dollar pledged to remove a pound of debris, Team Seas has made a significant progress. As of May 2023, 15.1 million pounds of waste were removed by volunteers in 63 countries. Mr. Beast's journey in philanthropy exemplifies the power of digital influence for global good. From feeding the hungry to planting trees and cleaning oceans, his actions inspire a ripple effect of positive change. If you're interested in making a change as well, try the comment section and leave your thoughts regarding this video down there. Mr. Beast has revolutionized content creation. His secret? A relentless pursuit of perfection and an unyielding focus on audience engagement. He employs a unique strategy, urging critical eyes to roast his content, refining each video to its finest. At the end of the day, I could spend less per videos if yeah. I want to. I'm just focused on making the best videos possible, period. I don't care about making money. I don't care about time. I don't care about anything. I just want to make the best videos on the planet. No 
video is sacred to him. Jimmy is known to discard content that doesn't meet his high standards or entertain his audience. Every day he and his expansive team work tirelessly in a dedicated studio crafting video masterpieces. He meticulously scrutinizes his content, bringing in people to pinpoint and eliminate any dull moments. Basically every year it just gotten crazier and crazier and I used to make a dollar a day. Back, well, I, the first few years I wasn't even making money off YouTube, but once I started making money, I was making a dollar a day, and I saved up for a couple months, I bought a microphone, saved up for half a year, I got a computer, and I've just always reinvested it. And so it's like, literally just all, I, I mean, I was like as awkward as they came, uh, no money, no nothing, and I just basically just obsessed over YouTube every day. For every cent that he earns is reinvested into his channel. His most expensive production, the $456,000 Squid Game in real life, cost a staggering $3.5 million. Remarkably, Mr. Beast maintains a magical 60% viewer retention rate, captivating audiences from start to finish. It's important to note that this is actually a really big deal for creators. Jimmy's formula for YouTube success is simple yet profound. Compelling thumbnails to drive clicks, delivering and exceeding the expectations set by them, and lastly, ensuring high entertainment value throughout the whole video. His key belief is that creators should focus on the term audience rather than algorithm, prioritizing viewer satisfaction over technical gimmicks. Mr. Beast's success is a testament to his unwavering commitment to his audience, redefining success on the digital platform. Known for his grand gestures, Jimmy faced criticism following a video where he funded cataract surgeries for 1,000 people. Critics argued that it failed to address broader healthcare issues. Matthew Wade, a lecturer, challenges Mr. Beast's altruistic image. Wade points out that Donaldson's philanthropy often prioritizes entertainment value over utilitarian impact. Thus, one could argue that Donaldson's content, while philanthropic, is also crafted for audience engagement and entertainment, avoiding divisive or politically sensitive topics. Furthermore, Tiffany Ferguson, a fellow content creator, highlights Mr. Beast's dual role, a philanthropist and a brand manager, balancing genuine charity with content strategy. And that's actually the biggest criticism Jimmy is facing. In short, some people think he's just displaying his altruism because of the attention it inevitably generates. But now let's talk about his ongoing lawsuits. In a major setback, the Mr. Beast Burger venture faced backlash. Disappointing product quality led to a lawsuit against Virtual Dining Concepts, the company behind his burger chain. Donaldson sued the company for damaging his brand, alleging focus on rapid expansion over quality. The lawsuit cites numerous instances of poor service and inedible food. Additionally, despite the venture's financial success, Donaldson claims he hasn't received profits, seeking damages for the brand's tarnishing. In response, Virtual Dining Concepts countersued for $100 million, accusing Donaldson of contract violations and tarnishing the Mr. Beast Burger brand. This legal battle illustrates the complex intersections of philanthropy, entertainment and business in the world of high-profile content creation. With these challenges, Mr. B's journey underscores the nuanced realities behind YouTube fame and entrepreneurship. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to Allies of Z if you want to know more about modern-day influencers and many more intriguing topics. I recreated every single set from Squid Game in real life. I was offered five grand for a video, but this is when I was like 19. I was like, double it, and I'll walk outside and I'll give it to a homeless person. This is wild. This is crazy. After planting all day, we only managed to plant 300 trees. Which is less than 20 million and my back hurts. As we conclude our deep dive into the world of Mr. Beast, let's revisit our initial questions. How did he conquer YouTube and is he truly a genius? Mr. Beast's conquest of YouTube is marked by his groundbreaking approach to content creation. 
His strategy balancing entertainment with philanthropy has redefined what it means to be a successful YouTuber. But his influence extends beyond YouTube. His philanthropic endeavors showcase a commitment to making a tangible impact in the world, challenging traditional views of internet celebrity. In his own words, Mr. B's journey is not just about viral videos. It's about pushing boundaries, inspiring change, and creating a legacy that transcends digital fame. So, is Mr. Beast a genius? His strategic mastery of content creation, his relentless pursuit of innovation, and his profound impact both online and offline certainly make a compelling case. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Mr. Beast's remarkable journey. For more intriguing insights into modern day influencers, don't forget to dive into our exploration of Alex Jones. Until next time, allies.